Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tiger Productions. Today I'm Bancroft. I'm joining you all once again to go over a deck profile. It's not just any deck profile, but Sun Gohan, the power of duty. Alright, so like always, there's buttons up below. Feel free to click. They're there for a reason. Well, let's get into it. This is a new leader, so we're going to kind of go over it roughly. It has a universe, uh, Warriors of the Universe 7 tag. Once per turn, when you use a Universe 7 card in a combo, draw one card. Uh, this card has two different ways of awakening, either going on to full life, or if you have a, a unison in play with a specific cost of two, you may draw one card, switch one of your energy to active mode, and go down to five life, which is pretty nice. Now, once you've awakened, you maintain the uh, Warriors of the Universe. You maintain the once per turn when you combo with a Universe 7 card. Now you gain once per turn uh, spirit boost. Uh, sorry, when you use a red skillless battle card with energy cost 2 and a combo, it gets plus 6,000 combo power for the battle, which is pretty cool. Kind of gives you a little extra buffer for one less card. It has a secondary auto when one of your red unison cards with a specific cost of 2 in your unison area is placed in your drop area. Choose one of your red skillless battle cards with energy cost of 2 um, in your drop area and play it. So it's nice. So, a fun little cheeky way of doing that is that you can have use on, on board, you could play another unison. Because it doesn't specify how it goes to your drop area. So if you play in our using the unison that's currently there, it goes to your drop area. Which will actually proc this effect as well, which is pretty cool. So you could pay two for a unison and then immediately get a two drop on the board. Alright, so our unisons we like to play. Because this is in the style of this deck, I decided to go with four of the Frieza's, Unlikely uh, Savior. Which is once per turn, if you're, um, when you remove a marker from this card using Spirit Boost. Choose what to one of your opponent's battle cards or using cards and gets minus 10,000 power for the turn, which is not bad when your opponent swings at you and um, you combo to use that effect or you use this Frieza's auto plus zero. When your opponent attacks, choose one of your skillless universe seven cards in your hand or drop area and combo with it. So it immediately gets a free co uh, combo out of it and say if they swing towards your unison, you could just turn around, use the auto, boom, makes a unison 20, spirit boost, makes a unison 26, and then you nag the cards attacking the unison, unless it's the leader, obviously, because it, it does say battle cards or unison. Just keep that in mind, but you could potentially cause your opponent to, if they want to do additional damage, they need to combo up for it. It does have a plus one where you place one skillless battle card from your drop area at the bottom of your deck. It's plus one, it's not bad. I typically don't really use that effect because we do play plenty of skills, and we'll kind of go over, there, over those in a second. So that's the Frieza. I do tack in two more unisons, which is the best red unison, I think, that's out there. Auto, when your opponent activates a counter skill, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less and KO it, which is pretty nice. Plus one to draw, so it gives you a little extra way of getting more cards in your hand. So I didn't really go over it. The leader, that uh, that uh, uh, once per turn, is doesn't specify whose turn, just once per turn. So it could be on your turn or your opponent's turn. So it just gives you more draws that way. The minus two is actually pretty cool. You choose one of your red battle cards with an energy cost of three or less. Choose all of your opponent's battle cards power less than or equal to the chosen card. KO them, which is pretty cool. This card does gain Rejuvenate. We'll never ever get to use it unless for some reason I have a Piccolo and I want to, oh, bomb another Piccolo. So those are the unisons. I think they're pretty cool. Side note, like that Frieza came in so much clutch and hopefully you all will check out the videos um, with it gameplay. Also, the Pickle came in pretty awesome as well. Like, Pickle is so crazy. All right, so Skillless. Four Gokus. They have no effects, so that's it. All right, and four Piccolos. The ones from this set, about three-fourths of them are hollow, so I figured I'd just play them anyways. Those are the Skillless. If for some reason I do not start with a Skillless, I play two of the Krillins, Universe 7. Uh, it's a... It's a when you play this card, you add it to one skillless battle card and it costs two from your deck to your hand. So it's kind of like having ten skillesses, but you have to play this one. Once you play it, you immediately combo it off get a draw. So, it works. So speaking of these skillesses, they're pretty cool. They are considered universe seven battle cards. So when I come with them, I get to do some draws. But the one drop Sun Gohan is even awesomer because it has a <laughs> awesomer. Um, it has an auto limit one. If you glue a card is red, when you use a mono red skillless battle card in your combo, you draw one card. So just for combo one of these cards, I could potentially draw two cards, one for the leader and one for the unison, which is, I mean, you want to draw cards. It gives you a better hand, gives you a better chance of getting cards you want. Auto, when this card is played, look up the top five cards of your deck, add it to one red universe seven card with energy cost four or less, or one unison with specific cost two 
I'm going to move your hand. And if you're like, I like playing this turn one if I do not see a unison. And that's about it. If I don't see a unison, this is my typically turn one play. If I see a unison, I actually keep my energy in active mode for my opponent's turn. Reason being, because when they attack me, I meet little combo with infinite energy Android 18. And at the end of the battle, if you come with this card from your hand, if your leader card is universe 7, play this card in rest mode. I don't need to say anything more. So back to this whole unison and leader thing. So, like I said, the leader has spirit boost abilities. For this case, we're going to use Frieza because he actually gains something from using spirit boost. So if your opponent swings at you, you can go, okay, cool. We'll use spirit boost 1 to get additional plus 1,000, whatever. You're, you're freezing next something out. And then you can turn around and free play... Vegeta. This is from the start deck. This is actually a really good card. I'm only taking as a two of it. It is a universe seven, so I can look for it with the Gohan because it is energy cost four. But it's unique in crit. And it, like I said, it's free play. If your opponent has two or more energy, when you remove a marker from one of your red unisons using a spirit boost skill, you may play this card from your hand. It's just a little extra pressure for that's free. So other cards that you can play fairly cheaply is Gohan, the surprise attack Gohan. Activate battle for one red energy. If you have two or more mono red battle cards in your combo area, play this card from your hand, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, then gets minus one, uh, sorry, minus 10,000 power for turn. And like something like that mixed with the uh, the Frieza's auto is so cool because you could do the uh, Spear Boost prior, negative 10, and then combo up and one, add one more card from your hand to the field, then activate battle, play this, and you can the card by 20. It could kill some battle cards. And if you have two cards in your uh, combo area, you can also activate battle and play the Sun Goku Divine Presence, which has Deflect. It is a dual attack. This card cannot be removed from your battle area by skills during your turn. Auto with return when this card attacks, add up to one red skillless battle card from your deck to your hands. Then shuffle your deck if this card, oh, sorry, and this card gains 5,000 power for the turn. So pretty much it's a 25k uh, dual attack card, which is pretty cool. The, uh, and actually, if I'm going to play this card, this is actually the only time ever where I would choose to use the plus one on the Freezing Unison to bottom deck the skillless card that I'm about to pull with this card for attacking with it. It does have an activate battle. This is how you play it for cheaply for two energy. If you have three or more energy and you have two or more red battle cards in your combo area, play this card from your hand. Then choose one of your mono red cards and it gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. So this is a great defensive option as well if you don't have any negates because you can turn around and it depends what your opponent is trying to go for. But you get the 5,000k boost to your leader because it is a mono red card. Kind of like a, a sense of being for 2 energy. And it gives you a, a dual attack battle card that goes 25 on your turn. That's it for kind of like the cheap play cards. So going back to more just random use of and stuff. Keep in mind, everything I've shown you so far can be searched, if correct, with my uh, one drop go on. So that's why we play four of that. But super, super combos, TN. He is a universe 7 card. So as long as your life spoil less, when you use this card in the combo, you draw one card. And then the leader causes you to draw another card. So it's like a draw two super combo. Who needs rats when you got that? You don't, have to really, you don't have to get rid of any cards from my hand. Kaioken, uh, Son Goku. It, it's a board wipe, potentially. For three energy, you can play this card. has deflect. When you play this card, choose all of your opponent's battle cards with 20,000 power or less and KO them. Or if your opponent has a pesky barrier card, you can pay two energy if the leader card is red and you place this card to, uh, from your hand to the drop area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and it gets minus 25,000 power for the turn. So you can get rid of a problem card, which is pretty nice. It can be a board wipe, so it serves multiple purposes. Or if I just want to combo it off, it serves as a draw card for me, which is nice. And talking about board wiping, I do play one Secret Identity Mass Sand. I know it's an overrun card typically do this at the very end, but I felt like it wasn't the theme of board wipes. It's free to play. It is overrun 6. When this card is played using a room, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total energy cost of 6 or less and send them to their owner's warp. Here's the problem. Remember that when you over -realm, cards go to the warp. The Frieza's auto requires skillless battle cards to be in a drop. So if you're going to over -realm, make sure you have recovery place for your skillless or you have another one in your hand to immediately combo with afterwards. Because if you mess up your order of operations, you, it could bite you in the ass afterwards. Speaking of the Frieza Unison, we play two Marshall's Barrage Yantras. It's a counterplay that next two cards by 15, which is pretty nice. You want to play this in counter window two. It's the most effective that way, unless your opponent just has problem cards naturally, and you can do it in counter window one. Other cards I like the neg, Wolf Fang Fist, 
It's free for the unisons. It negates the attacking card by 15,000 power. That could be, sorry, attacking battle card or leader card will not affect unisons. That's fine. But it ignores barrier. It just gets rid of pesky cards. And last one, at least for when it comes to negging, King Vegeta's Imposing Presence. This past weekend, locals, this was the card, like, if I had this card in my deck, I had a chance of winning a certain matchup, which would have been nice, but I didn't have it in my deck at the time. I completely forgot about this card. So, while I think it was like after our third round, I was like, oh man, if I had that card, that would have changed everything. And yeah, everyone says it a lot, but I even had the card in my deck. So I immediately added, found, a, found a way to add two cards to, uh, for my, took two cards out to put this in my deck, which is pretty nice. If you're not familiar with it, the attacking card going barrier gets minus 10,000 power, does not negate the attack. Then your opponent can't attack with cards for the turn unless they give the attacking cards additional minus, sorry, unless they give the cards a minus 5,000 power for the turn each time. So if they have a card that attacks three times, this will negate 5,000 every single time they attack with it. Yeah, and you can be played for free if your life's three or less. You can activate this card's counter skill from your hand but without paying energy cost by choosing one card in your hand, discarding it. So. Going into some interesting tech options, play two Sun Goku Path Power because this is a deck that plays skillless battle cards. Activate me two energy if you're a leader card Saiyan card and your, and your opponent has two or more energy and you have two or more skillless battle cards in your dropper, you can play this card, which is pretty cool. It's double strike, unique, so you only have one on the board, but what makes this card even better, when this card attacks, play up to one skillless battle card, energy costs two or less from your drop area, and it gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. If I had this on the board, and I swung with this card, and it played the Piccolo, now the Piccolo is 25, if I had the units on the board, you could just turn around and say, at minus two, choose the Piccolo, and that's uh, 25. So it just, it's just other tech ways of helping keep either potentially keeping your opponent's board clear or just getting cards to your board to just swing at your opponent. Oh no! Alright, let's go to our negates. I know I kind of showed King Vegeta, but that technically did not negate the attack, it just kind of counterattacked. So for actual negates, three topos because they are a battle card that can be played. The deck draws enough where I have no problem playing this card to discard a card as well, which like it's alright to 20k beat her afterwards. So two violent rays. I, I the deck draws enough. It's fine. And also I choose to go a two three on this case because I wanted the battle card power after I used it. Where violent ray is kind of like if I know my opponent's playing big, I just use this to stop it. And it, granted if you're playing best of three then you just have sideboards to adjust these numbers later on the road. Like, if you need more Violent Rays, put more Violent Rays in. Just for our locals, two is enough. Additional tech pieces. One Champa, because why not? If your opponent's two life and you swing, as long as it's not yellow, you should be fine. My over Another Overrun target, SS4 Bardock, fighting against Fate. Um, the reason why I added a second overrun target in this deck was mainly because I felt like there was times where I wanted the additional pressure, but I didn't want to play any of the cards in my hand. And it's kind of weird to saying that, but like if I'm going to turn my opponent's uh, next turn and I have four energy, I would rather keep energy open for if I want a Topo or Violent Ray. So this is like another way of playing a free card. Keep in mind, like I mentioned earlier, with the Secret Identity. Just... Know your operations before you do overround. Make sure you're covered on your skillesses prior. Because you don't want to disrupt that at all. Also, having a dual attack 25 is not bad at all. Last but not least is the secret rare. Because it is red, I had to play the new Goku Frieza. It is an amazing card. Keep in mind. <laughs> Some cards might be able to touch it though. Um, yes, it can't be removed from the battle area by skills. But it can still... They can still be counterplayed to some degree. That happened to me, unfortunately. But outside of that, as long as you have 5 mono red energy, you reduce the cost of this card by 3. And when this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate counters or blockers. So you get 240k hits, and boom, boom, which is not bad at all. Also, you cannot use cards from your hand to combo with this card as well. Just keep in mind, no combos. If you want to attack in like the Freeze's Death Balls, that's not technically a combo, it's an activate battle, so you could do that, which is all right. And then last but not least, it activate main, if you leader card's red, remove this card from the game, deal one damage to your opponent. I mean, yeah. 
that being said, that is Gohan. At least my take on Gohan. Hope you all enjoy that. If there's anything you want to see differently, or sorry, if you have, if you have your own build that's a little bit different, let me know in the comments what it is. So I'm really curious why people dump this deck. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. There's stuff on the screen. Feel free to click them. Read your cards, know your plays, and fluff out.